Hey guys, welcome back to Bixby's Beer Reviews. Very excited to have you here with me again today. Got a newcomer to the BBR today from Mast Landing Brewing Company up in Westbrook, Maine. Uh, we have a beer, I'm gonna show it to you. I'm not gonna say what its name is. It is a coffee brown ale. You'll see its name right down there at the bottom. That is in the Kenya Rwanda language. I am not able or even gonna to attempt to say it. What I can say though is that it means brewing hope great name. Uh, and it has a name in that language because this coffee brown ale is brewed with beans from the Rwanda Bean Coffee Company up there also in Westbrook, Maine. Uh, you might have heard me say in a, a few past episodes about various styles that I think certain styles are underrated or not properly appreciated. Uh, I'm here to say that the, the style of brown ale, which is, is fairly slept on, uh, is very properly appreciated at the relatively low level it's held. Um, to me, there are, there are really just kind of two use cases for brown ale. Uh, one is Newcastle brown ale, which you drink right before you whip the empty bottle at a police horse uh, and then get arrested in a soccer riot. Uh, others, you know, I've, I've tried craft brown ales from various places and, and none of them are bad, but in every instance, you know, it's like I, I'd rather have a, a German alt beer or or maybe a, a Czech dark lager uh, or, or even like an English mild. It's it's you'd have to say it's it's a dominated asset in terms of lower ABV malt forward ales and lagers. With that said, I do think there is one place where brown ale shines and where, where it has a, a great opportunity to do some fun things, and that is in malt forward adjunct heavy beers. Gonna give you all a little bit of a, a hot take right now. <laughs> which is that I think for any non-barrel aged but heavily adjuncted beer that uses a 10% stout or above, the beer would be much better if it used a 6% brown ale as the base. I just think that the, the lighter body, uh, the smoother sweetness of brown ale really lets the adjunct flavors show through more and combine better. Uh, than, than some of the heavier, boozier, thicker stouts often do. And so that's why I'm so excited about today's beer. As I said, it is a coffee brown ale. It is 6%, uh, which is right in this particular dad's wheelhouse as far as ABV goes. Uh, and so very excited to crack it open. Let's go ahead and take a look. Wonderful thing about this beer is that a portion of the proceeds uh, go to the Rwanda Bean Coffee Company's, I believe they call it the Compassion Campaign, which helps fund health insurance for Rwandan coffee industry workers. So, enjoying a beer and doing good in the world too. Uh, but let's take a look at this brown ale. Uh, it is, not surprisingly, brown. Now you can see it is not very thick, has some beautiful nice ruby highlights at the bottom here. You can also see a very nice fluffy head, uh, but just a, a beautiful example of, of darker brown, roasty malts uh, used uh, in lighter effect than you'd see in a stout. So, beautiful beer, let's go ahead and give it a smell. Mm. You know, a wonderfully coffee forward aroma. It's exactly what you want. Uh, I would have to say it lends itself to more of a medium roast. It doesn't have the intense dark roast aromas of, of some coffees that I enjoy uh, in my morning cup. Uh, it has more of a kind of a raw cacao, cinnamon, almost a baking spice aroma. Uh, and I would say that the combination of that with the little bit of sweet brown malt that's underneath kind of almost gives it a, I don't want to say like a Cuban coffee aroma, but a slightly sweeter, like almost a, a cappuccino type aroma. A really wonderful coffee forward nose. So that's, that's what it smells like. Let's go ahead and give this one a taste. Mm, like a, a wonderful cold brew coffee uh, with a little bit of carbonation in there. Uh, now, this is why I think brown ale is such a wonderful base for, for adjuncted beers because at once it has the malt body uh, to give something of an impression of richness, to allow these coffee flavors to uh, to come through a little bit more fully. But at the same time, it's not such a heavy style that you don't get a eh, medium body, uh, slightly medium, maybe even medium dry finish. So it's not such a heavy filling beer that you feel like you, you have to end your night with. And here it's doing exactly that for this, this wonderful coffee aroma we get. It carries through those wonderful cinnamon and nutmeg and almost a little bit clovey flavors from that, that roasted coffee, but it still finishes a little bit lighter, a little bit drier. I feel like this could be the first beer, the third beer, or even the fifth beer of the night. It doesn't always have to be the one that closes things out. So it's a wonderful coffee ale that they have here. Uh, I got nothing against a big coffee stout. You know, sometimes that's what's called for. Founders Breakfast Stout, one of my favorite beers in the 
whole world, but I found when I really want to focus on an adjunct, and especially an adjunct like this, this wonderful uh, roast coffee that Mass Landing has used here, it's a brown ale that helps carry those the, the, the delicate notes of those flavors through without being overwhelmed either by booziness or by a really intense malt or thick body. So great beer, really enjoyed it. Loved sharing it with you guys. May try to find some other specialty brown ales here and there just to, to let you know what else I've found on this, this little theory of mine. But uh, thanks for joining me now. Hope to see you next time on the BBR. And until then, bye now.